Harefield is a very special place. It's the last village on the outskirts of London. It's got a very unique geology and ecology, and it's surrounded by nature, all kinds of animals and birds and plants and trees. It's got a chalk aquifer, and this supplies fresh water for 3.2 million people. And this water is in imminent danger of being contaminated by the building of the high-speed railway known as HS2. If this high-speed railway goes ahead, then in the coming months, so many animals, so much nature will be condemned. The animals will lose their habitats, they'll starve to death, or they'll be killed. And not only nature, but people will be evicted from their homes, sometimes homes where their families have lived for hundreds of years. London absolutely needs all the nature that's left because it helps people have clean air to breathe, it absorbs carbon dioxide, it provides people and especially children with the, the environment that they need for good psychological development. Going out into green places gives people peace and helps them get through difficult times. We proved that, we know it. And so it's really, really important that we join the fight to stop the building of this high-speed railway. We don't need it. We can manage without it as we have for hundreds of years. And I certainly support the fight to prevent this happening, to save nature, to save the lives of people in the way that they've been living them for many, many years. So we need to all get together and raise our voices and say, we don't want this railway to be built. Please join the fight.